Hello. Welcome to my video. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up this League of Legends bot. I made this bot to increase the time played per game, and earn more XP. It will not perform at an optimal rate, please take note of this. The program works on the principle of recognizing images and pixels. This makes it easy to fix the bot if Riot updates their client. To begin using the bot, there are several things you need to set up before having smooth games to minimize problems. If you are using Windows 8 or 10, then right-click on the desktop and press Display Settings. Look under the Scale and Layout section. If this setting is set to 100%, then change it to 100%. Now the bot can easily recognize default text slash images. The download of the bot is in the description. Download it, and put it into a folder. Run the program it should automatically install files, and click on the Configuration button. In this window you can choose the game mode, your favorite champion and spells. I will show you an example, copy me as I go so you don't run into issues. You won't need to do this every time you run the program, the settings are automatically saved. The next step is to set up the League of Legends client windows using the premium adjustment button. When you press premium adjustments, you will see that there are two different tools to be used by the bot. To make the bot work properly, it is essential to choose one of these. If you don't choose one, it will default to pixel tool. If your League of Legends client is set in English, then you won't need to adjust the settings, you'll have to only run the bot. If your client is not in English, you will need to use one of these two tools to configure the bot recognition. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will demonstrate how they work, so you can decide on which one is better for you. I will begin with the Pixel tool. Click on Pixel tool, and a Pixel recording tool will open. This tool only records certain colors at a certain location, so if you want to record the play button, you will have to select the small round toolbar and drop it on your play button. While doing this, try to find the lighter parts with the cursor. This makes it faster to recognize. If you have copied what I have done, just exit the tool and run the program by clicking Start Bot. If you think this is fairly straightforward, I recommend you give this a go before using the snipping tool. By the way, the snipping tool is an image searching tool, hence why you need to snip the things you want the bot to recognize and press. Now, onto the snipping tool. Remember, you need to choose either the pixel or snipping tool, you can't do both. I will now press on the snipping tool. For the sake of this tutorial, I will try snipping the play button. I recommend you focus on snipping the text, as I do. Once you have snipped the button, you will see a little preview of what you have snipped. Ensure that this is the correct button and size before pressing save and moving on. You can test if this worked, by pressing test button. The bot will automatically try to locate the snip image, and a pop-up will be given to you saying it succeeded or failed. By default, I have already snipped out the English buttons, so you don't need to do that if you play League in the English language. If you are using a different language, you must snip every button. Once again, it is better to try to snip only the text instead of the surroundings. The smaller it is, the better. Some people have asked how to control what items the bot purchases. I have made this very simple and configurable just for you. To configure the items, follow my lead. Let us begin. When you press the Start Bot button, you will need to hold Control then press P to pause the bot. This allows you to freely control the game. Start a practice game with bots by pressing Play, Training, then Practice. This allows you to easily get gold and snip the items you want to purchase. When you are loaded into the game, then click on the Add Gold button. Open the shop menu after you have added gold, and open the record items tool by pressing Ctrl and I. Now you will need to take a snapshot of the items that are visible for purchase. If you want the bot to buy an item only once, you will have to snip a larger area of the item so that it is easy to see the difference between a purchase item and an unpurchased item. Again, if you are stuck, just do what I do 